Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week starting January 16th, 2017. And this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising. Thank you very much for joining me and thank you for all your support. Um, as always, please remember that these are general readings so they're not going to apply to everyone or not in the same way. Be sure to watch your moon and rising sign readings for additional messages that may apply to you. And of course, if you're interested in a private reading or you want to look at all the specials currently running, uh, all the links you need are always in the description box below. So, Virgo. It looks like a really good week ahead, okay? Your current situation or your main focus is the Seven of Athames or the Seven of Swords. With the Seven of Swords, a lot of you, I feel like, are thinking about things. You're planning things. You're strategizing. You're trying to find the way, best way forward, trying to find the most suitable solution um, to uh, an issue that you're facing, to a decision that you have to make, to a change that you're preparing to make. And so there's a lot of mental activity going on, kind of running scenarios through your head, uh, again, trying to find the best option forward, coming up with the best strategy that you can uh, is what is coming up with the Seven of Athames in this particular position. Your main opportunity is the Lady and the Lord, and this is the Lover's card. Uh, so your main opportunity is a contract, a commitment, a new relationship, a new job, promotion, advancement of any kind, uh, contract to do with the home, property, purchases, big purchases, um, deepening of love relationships, choices, and committing to those choices that are kind of life-changing choices. So some of you are looking at retirement, making that choice. Uh, and planning ahead for it. For others of you, this is uh, proposing, so changing your life that way, moving in with someone, starting a relationship, uh, starting a new job, okay, considering your options and committing to one. Um, so the Lady and the Lord is a card that talks about choices being presented to you. So again, you're thinking about these choices, um, planning ahead, strategizing, trying to make the best decision, um, and your main opportunity is making a really great decision this week. Follow your instincts in making this decision. You know what's best for you. And you're gonna have a really wonderful opportunity uh, showing up for you this week. Something that you can embrace, something that you can commit to. Or someone committing to you, okay, could also be that. And this is the card of Gemini. So for some of you, a Gemini is involved in there. And the Seven of Swords can also represent air sign energy. So Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So for some of you, your main focus is an air sign and your main opportunity regards an air sign as well. Your main challenge is the Oak King or the Hangman. And with the Hangman in your reading as a challenge, you can be experiencing um, some delays. I feel like they're not major, but you didn't plan for them or you didn't anticipate them. And so they can be frustrating. Um, with the Hangman, there's also a feeling like things are not completely within your own hands. You depend on other people uh, for information to make your choice or um, other people need to have a say in the choice that you're making and the commitment that you're making. And so it kind of makes you feel like you're not in control of things as much as you would like to be. And it can be a bit of a frustrating feeling, but the hangman says, try not to fight it, okay? It is a major arcana card which means, you know, this is just going to have to happen. It's something that needs to happen as opposed to fighting it and being frustrated over it. Try to embrace it. Try to see it as an opportunity. If you have to wait for something, be productive with your time. Come up with new ideas. Come up with new things, new um, concepts, new way of doing things, new strategies, okay? Be creative. Be constructive. Uh, don't feel out of control. Don't feel like giving up. Don't feel overwhelmed or frustrated because again things are not necessarily happen, happening according to what you would like them to be or when you would like them to happen okay it's not much of a challenge per se it's just having to be patient um, and that you know it can actually be a, a big challenge but like I say in the world of challenges um, it's it's a it's an okay one it's a good one it's it's one that we can tackle we just need to learn patience okay In your advice, we have the Crone or the Strength card, 
with the strength card and your invite and your advice this is a card that talks about again controlling your impulses controlling your urges to control to make things happen the way you want them to to make things happen the when you want them to all of these cards are major arcana cards which means certain things are within your control but others are really not and by trying to push something to happen force it to happen we may wreck a really good opportunity so the strength card shows up here to say you're doing okay you're doing well you're in a good position you're a strong candidate here or you have really strong skills or knowledge or whatever you're doing well so try to control your temper control your urges to intervene to force things to push things uh, to you know pester people with calls or emails what's going on when is this happening is this going going to happen or not that sort of energy um, and I feel like you know it can be a really big change for you with these major arcana cards here and so it can create a little bit of anxiety and unsettled energy but that's why the hangman is in your challenge you kind of have to learn to overcome that you kind of have to learn to keep that under control and you can absolutely do that okay remember with the strength card you can be in control of yourself if nothing else okay so trying to stay grounded trying to uh, stay calm centered um, things will happen all right you don't have to push them to you don't have to force them to and in the outcome and this is also a card that says you don't have to push yourself uh, to make a decision quicker than what you would like all right so don't let other people push you either uh, and in the outcome position we have the ten of pentacles so this is reaching your goal this is your happily ever after for some of you this is retirement so deciding to retire uh, with the ten of pentacles for others of you this is um, your happily ever after in terms of um, success with finances success with your job um, starting a new relationship that has a lot of long-term potential starting a new relationship that can bring you a family in the future with that person um, this is your hard work paying off your financial situation improving absolutely like making a big jump for some of you um, moving also comes up with this card for some of you starting a family expanding the family starting a family business working from home whatever your goal is that you're strategizing for keep doing what you're doing try to stay patient with things that you cannot control uh, with people that you cannot control okay try to stay grounded use things to your advantage okay control your impulses and you'll have you're gonna you're gonna have your happily ever after by the end of the week so you don't have to wait very long okay but it's a really beautiful reading lots of uh, positive energy so i'm looking forward to your comments letting me know how the cards speak to you how they apply to you if they do thank you very much for joining me once again thank you for your support i hope that you have a really really wonderful week ahead and i will talk to you soon take care